for you. We're going to go ahead and uh, Yvonne, we're excited to have you on and thank you for taking your time to be here, man. Oh, it's my pleasure, uh, Brandon. And congratulations, honestly, on all the work that you've been doing. Uh, you say you've been, you, you know me since 2017 and I know your work also in IM since the day that you came in. The reality is that you were one of the Slaters that that stayed during the process between 2000 late 2015 and 2016 late 2016 when I joined, and uh, if it wasn't because of you, maybe I am would it not be would, would it not stayed. <laughs> you know that's that's a fact. That's a reality. But that but that speaks about the subject that we're going to be speaking about today, actually, uh, which is laser focused. And so I'm just so grateful about you also, and you're also better a very serviceable leader. That means you're always doing videos for the company. I remember for the first maybe couple of years, you were doing videos that the company never asked you to. And the company was using your videos as the corporate videos, but they were not really corporate videos. They were one of the leaders' videos, but, but you're just uh, a, 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 a service leader. But that's your, always your focus, how, how, to, how to help people how to help customers. And I'm just grateful about the, about that from you. That's so amazing. And that's where you, that's why you are a Sherman 100. That's one of the principal reasons why you are a Sherman 100. And so congratulations. And thank you also for having me in the call, um, Sherman Mentality. Um, and, and speaking about that, guys, I mean, today's subject is about being laser focused. Um, you know, um, in, in, in my 12, almost about to be 13 years of network marketing experience, that's been one of my biggest strengths, how to become laser focused. And, and, and people sometimes are scared of their, of their, of their strengths, you know, and, and, and at the other hand, I've learned from John C. Maxwell that you gotta embrace your, your strengths. And that's been one of my strengths, how to become laser focused. Um, and so I'm gonna teach you guys today, how can you become laser focused if you haven't been laser focused? How can you become that person that, that has and vibrates that level of energy that that's basically what you're working for, you know? And, and I'm gonna teach you a little bit how I became laser focused. The, the reality is that my life has brought me to different challenges and, and pains that has helped me become laser focused. And I, I remember since I was just little one and maybe just playing baseball when I was, had a good level of playing baseball before I got hurt, that I was laser focused to becoming a professional baseball player. And what happens when I got hurt, it got derailed, my emotions got derailed and I started really um, doing anything else, but I didn't know what to do in life. When I became a civil engineer, I became laser focused to become a civil engineer. <laughs> when, when I found out how much civil engineers were making and how, how much uh, network marketers were making, I, I became laser focused in network marketing. I mean, I, that's, that's a big summary of, of a little of a lot of pain that I went through because I went through seventy thousand dollars in debt living living with my parents after I lost my job as a civil engineer. So, in other in other words, I stopped believing in what is corporate America. I stopped believing in um, getting a job for somebody and working forty out forty hours for forty years for somebody else. I stopped believing in that in that path in that journey. So. I became so obsessed with uh, network marketing. And, and I think that, that starts with uh, so obsessed. I, I got so passionate about it. I just got so, so passionate about it. So for, to become laser focused, you're going to have to become obsessed about why are you doing network marketing? Or why are you in IM? Or why are you doing trading? You need to become obsessed about it. And an obsession it's because you know the end result. So first of all, you need to know what's the end result. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's so simple that you, everybody, 100% of the human beings go through this subject or through this path at least once in their lifetime. It's about how to become obsessed about something. Maybe obsessed about people because people mix emotions. Oh, some people don't love money. Oh, I don't know about money. Or house, I don't care about a big house. Or vacations, I don't care about big vacations. Or maybe they help you create temporary good energy, like temporary obsession. 
but how can it become permanently? So I always teach people that you need to be, first of all, become in love with what you want because everybody has fallen in love at least once in their lifetime. They at least fall in love once with a, with a person, I mean, even if not with a person, with a pet, you know, even if not with a pet or a person or, 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 or a loved one, I mean, maybe a parent, mom, dad, kid, kids, whatever it is. Like, like, like Brandon has a lot of kids. So he has a lot of love, right? I have two beautiful daughters. I'll do anything for them. We're, we're so laser focused on them. That's a fact. We're, we're obsessed. I'm passionate about them, about our family. So when I met, for example, my wife, Monica, that's the same thing. I was obsessed and laser focused on, on having a relationship, for example, with her. And it happened. So for me, no marketing was kind of like the same thing when I started. I said, I want financial freedom. And for me, back in 2009, financial freedom was to make 20,000 a month. Not because of the money, but it was because of what I, I could do, the options I could create with 20,000 a month. So I got passionate and obsessed about firing my boss for my last job, about eliminating my debt, about traveling to Venice with my wife, about buying her a new Mercedes, about buying a new home. Uh, it was a half a million dollar home back then. I got obsessed about it, very obsessed. So, so number one thing about being laser focused, and, and I'm, I'm gonna read a little bit about, I was reading here, what is laser focus? And it says, it's, it's the mental ability to give 100% of your attention to the task you prioritize in the present moment. To give 100% of your attention. It doesn't say 99%. It doesn't say 50%. It says 100% of the attention to the task you prioritize. So that means you need to prioritize. So how do I prioritize it? If I was working 60, 50 to 60 hours a week as a civil engineer back then, very simple. And I wasn't, civil engineer wasn't my plan A anymore. Civil engineer, civil engineer was my plan B. That means, that means that my plan A was to earn 20,000 a month. That was where a hundred percent of my, my attention was going. So all of my actions I was doing daily, to be honest, I was focusing on, on 20,000 a month. So I woke up 3.30 a.m. to cross the border from Tijuana to San Diego, California to go to, to my civil engineering job with this company called Kiwit Construction at the San Diego airport. It was three hours to make the international borderline crossing by car. Those three hours, I was listening to audiobooks from network marketing. I was listening to Jim Rohn's. Um, most of it, Jim Rohn, to be honest, for like six months in a row. That's all the audiobook I was listening. Building your network marketing, your network, building your network marketing business. That was that was a uh, that was the audiobook from Jim Rohn. And I and I got so passionate about it. Got to work 6:30 a.m., 7 a.m., and then I uh, between 12 and one, I had a one-hour break. Guess what I was doing? Calls for network marketing. Guess what my my uh, people, the, my, my engineers that were working around me or with me, they were having lunch, having fun relax. I wasn't relaxed because any time I have free, it was to put attention, hundred percent attention to my, to, to everything that was, that I had prioritized for my 20,000 a month. I got off work 5 30, 6 o'clock. Guess what I was doing? Get back to work. Yvonne, when did you have time for your family back then? To be honest, I had a, I had a moment to just talk with my family. I spoke with them. I told them, I'm going to give it my all. Because if I don't give it my all right now, I'm going to be working 40 years of my life for somebody else. And I don't, have, I, don't, I don't want to have a relationship with you when it's at night. Why it's at night? Because I would leave home when it was dark. I would come back home when it was dark. I cannot have a relationship with my daughters 
or with, with only one daughter I had back then at night. It has makes no sense. So I prefer to go through physical pain of maybe not sleeping well or maybe not going through well right then than to go into big emotional mental pain. Um, you know, at the end of it, and at the end, and also physical pain, because my body was not going to take it. My body was not going to take it when I was 50 to 60 years old, working still. I, I, I used to see people working at that age, and I'm like, I'm not going to be like that. So not only that I got obsessed about where I was going to be, I also created pain, if you think about it, of where I, what was going to happen to me if I didn't do it. So I saw the journey. And if we see mountains and there's a bridge, right? And of course, God's the bridge. But, but, when I'm, but, but here in this subject that I'm talking about, there's a lot of pains here. I created pains in my mind if I didn't do it. That I was going to be laser focused walking through. Now, that doesn't mean that the bridge was clear of pain. That doesn't mean that the bridge was maybe clear of no's, clear of people challenging me, people uh, uh, clear of, of family and friends not believing in me. <laughs> that's, that, that's the adventure about this. That's the fun about entrepreneurship. But then, so, so in, to be laser focused, first of all, you're gonna know what, what do you want? So I knew exactly what I want. I wanted freedom. I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I wanted to be a businessman. I didn't understand what businessman was. I didn't understand what an investor was back then. I had no idea. I just didn't want to have a job. I just knew I needed 20000 a month. That was my focus. I'm teaching this because the same level of focus that I did for 20000 a month, I have done it, just expanded it for 100000 a month. And to be honest, I did the same thing, but just expanded it for a million a month, et cetera, et cetera. So, it is, it's, it is the same thing. It's, it's just you expand it because now you create momentum. So first, exactly what would you want? Number two, get in love with what you want. Get obsessed with what you want. And uh, number three, I'll say prioritize. All the activities, 100% of the activities that you're going to do besides what, what I believe is, is what I've been taught is number one, God relationship. Number two, family relationship. So strong. You need to have the family relationship. And number three, your business. That's what I focus on. I didn't put number three, my job. I didn't put number three, my hobbies, my pastimes. I, 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 it was number three, my business. Because I want, if I wanted to give 100% attention, at the present moment, I need to know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Now, what are, what are some activities that I did throughout the process of me being 100%? Because that's also very important. When you're talking about being focused and you say 100% of the attention, it's not like you can be 100% of the time prospecting people. It's, it's, that's not even healthy for you, you know? But what it means, it, it, it means that everything around you, there's an intention. There's an intention. There's a self-level of awareness in your mind, in your heart, that your actions are taking you to the promised land that you promised yourself. So, for example, let's say you're listening to music. Let's say you, got, you wake up and you put some music on while you're getting ready, while you're showering, or maybe while you're driving. Well, that music needs to ignite something inside you to feel you focus on your dreams and goals. For example, the music I love to listen normally gives me, like I got excited, but, but a lot of the music I listen to, I focus it on my dreams and goals. Some of them actually gives me goose, goose gum, uh, goosebumps um, and, and I feel my skin, right? Like, damn, I guess I start picturing. Today, I start picturing the thousand chairmen, for example. Back then, I used to picture me going on stage for receiving my award for making 20,000 a month. So music, what kind of music you're listening to? Also, audiobooks. 
So you eliminate music that's not gonna focus you on your dreams and goals. You know, you eliminate music that's not gonna give you good uh, good vitamins to your brain for your goals, right? It's not gonna give you, you know, it, for example, if, if you go to the gym, um, like Brandon that stays in the gym maybe seven days a week, <laughs> he is the most, he's the most fitness guy in the whole company, right? Or top, or probably top two. I, I got somebody else also in that list. I, th- right? I think I think Randy Webb beat me officially. Yeah, I think Randy Webb's one, and I think you're I, number I, two. I saw I saw his back, and I said, "You get the trophy. You get the trophy." <laughs> I saw him too. I'm like, "Oh my god, this guy's been getting bigger by the year," you know, and and it's fantastic. I love that. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is 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 Brandon and and Brandy in that case. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure that everything they eat, their level of awareness and their intention of how, how, why they eat what they eat, there's always a focus why. They're, they're not going to put anything in their mouth without them having the level of awareness that maybe that's a cheat meal or maybe that isn't a cheat meal and they need to focus in order to have the body that they have, for example. Their level of awareness is so high on what they eat. And that's what I mean. In my, in my world, in the level of success that I'm at, the level of intention and the level of awareness I need to have on what my brain is eating, what my brain is feeding off, needs to be so high. That means that what music I'm listening to, what people I'm listening to, what people I'm hanging around with, it's so important because you become what you think about. And so we're talking about now, how am I gonna prioritize? Well, my level of attention to detail of what I'm listening to, music, also audiobooks. For example, when I'm listening to audiobooks and I'm about to go to sleep. I used to listen to The Magic of Believing all the time. The Magic of Believing from Cloud and Bistro all the time. That was the audiobook I used to listen, to be honest, all the time. I loved it. You know, the, another audiobook I used to listen to? The Strangest Secret from Earl Nightingale. All the time. That, that was, those were the audiobooks. I remember, I remember I used to fall asleep all the time to Jim Rohn. I'm, I'm being honest. I used to put Jim Rohn 30 minutes, and something happened around minute 30. I always fell asleep. Not because he was boring. It's because that's what I did. 30 minutes, boom. My brain was already new. Then the next day, I put the next 30 minutes, you know, boom. And then the next day, I put the next 30 minutes, then boom. And I probably slept through the whole conference. It was a four-hour and 30-minute conference that he did. So I was training my training myself, in other words. So it's not only about laser focus. It's not about just working out every day. It's about the actions that you're doing during the day it needs to have intention. If you don't have intention, I always say this to people, for example, when, when, when having a relationship with people, don't spend time with people, invest time with people. So that's another one. So even, even when I'm with my friends or close friends or family, I, I'm careful about my brain. <laughs> I'm careful about my mind. Sorry, that's what I meant. Not my brain, my mind. I'm careful about my mind. I'm careful about what am I speaking. I'm careful about what are they saying and how am I reacting or if I'm anticipating. My level of awareness needs to always be productive because that's my world. I'm not a basketball player where my level of awareness needs to be focused on playing basketball. You know, I, I'm not a, a, a again, a, a big Mr. Olympia, <laughs> where I need to focus about what I'm going to be eating. No, no, no. My, my focus is about how am I taking care of, my, of, of, of myself, prioritizing, so I need to raise my level of aware, awareness. Now, here's another one very important. You cannot multitask when you're laser focused. You cannot multitask when you're laser focused. I'm sorry, you cannot. The reality and the fact is, if you look at Elon Musk, you know, 
he has how many billionaire companies? Do you remember Brandon six? Something like that. Yeah, it's either five or six. And you only hear him speaking about two. Mm -hmm. And the biggest one is Tesla. You hear him speaking about. And number two is SpaceX. But he speaks about how he spends, I think, four days a week or five in Tesla and the rest in SpaceX. And when he goes to the other one, he doesn't really place any attention on the other one. So he's laser focused. He lets the other company run. I remember, I remember Jim Rohn used to say, you can carry one, but you cannot, you can maybe, he said, carry two, but you cannot definitely not carry three. Not even if you're Shaquille O'Neal. That's what he used to say. So when I was a civil engineer and I heard Jim Rohn said that, I'm like, I'm not going to carry two. I'm going to focus on network marketing. That's my plan A. That's it. I'm just going to get engineering out of the way. That means I just, I'm just going to make my, what I need to do get done. But everything was intentional. I used to open my eyes now to my level of intuition got so high because now I was looking for, for differences in leaders. Or oh, this person has a potential leader. Oh, this guy is a leader. Look at look at him. He's on time. He's always organized. He's always responsible. He has a le high level of communication, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So I used to now elevate myself and understand that helping so much because now in our marketing, as soon as I signed up somebody, I can understand if he was committed or not committed. Why could I understand it? Because I understand how I was committed or how I understand how I was when I started. So now I, I start identifying, very simple. Because when you're laser focused, you can identify people who are laser focused. When you're not, you're, when you're not laser focused, nobody's committed in my business because maybe you haven't been committed for a long period of time in your business. That's why. Um, another one, when you're laser focused, so you start thinking about what you're listening to. You start thinking about also not, not multitasking, but you know what also starts level, level, elevating your, your level of awareness? What are you speaking? When you're focused, when you're laser focused, your words change. Your words totally change because you start speaking differently. You need to start speaking differently. If, if you want to achieve success, speaking the same way is not going to happen. You need to start learning how to speak differently, how to speak more positively, how to speak with a direction, with a focus with a purpose, with a mission. People get attracted with people with missions. So that means if you're laser focused on a mission, people are gonna be attracted to that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and again, because I love speaking about examples. So Brandon Boy, I'm very sure when he starts speaking about health and wellness, people listen. I'm a I'm hundred percent sure. And I'm very sure he doesn't speak about that too much, but he doesn't need to. Why, why does a person doesn't need to speak too, too much about it? But if he speaks about it, there's gonna be a lot of attraction to it with people who will be attracted to health and wellness because he's a leader of example, because he's laser focused, he's a leader for example. So if you become laser focused, for a big amount of time, you're eventually going to become a person who's going to achieve the results. Then now people are going to be attracted to that purpose of mission. I don't know his purpose and mission in health and wellness. I know he wants to be amazingly healthy. I can say that for a fact. But because of that, I know if he speaks what he's eating, why is he eating? I'm going to listen. I would. If he'd start saying, I'm drinking this type of protein because of this, I, I drink this type of, 
amino amino acids. No, I don't, I don't drink amino acids because of this. I would listen well. I'm being honest, but that's the reason because he's been laser focused so much that his actions have been so permanently for so much that now people would listen to him because now he speaks, you're going to start speaking differently. So what are you speaking? Think about your level of awareness. What are you speaking? It's going to be different. For example, when I didn't have results, I used to speak, for example, about everything in the world was against me. <laughs> I didn't catch a break. Why did everybody say no to Ivan Tafu? I wasn't a good presenter. I wasn't a good prospector. I was, I was not a good salesman. I changed my words. I'm a great salesman. People, oh, we're never markers, you are. We don't sell. Yeah, you sell. When you're prospecting, when you're doing a presentation, when you're closing, you're, you're a salesman. Here's the thing, you're not, in network marketing, you're not only a salesman, but you're a salesman. Inside the formula, you're a salesman. You're, well, you'll, you'll then become a leader. <laughs> but it, put up, you, you can become a P600 by selling to 12 people. That's a fact. So now you understand. I'm a great salesman. I'm a great presenter. I'm a great closer. I'm a great leader. I'm focused. I'm driven positive i'm a millionaire etc so now you're gonna start attracting different type of people because you're laser focused people and now because you're you have this aura this energy your level of thinking is so is, is differently than anybody else i remember people used to tell me ivan when you're a millionaire call me i never got too bad about it, like, oh my God, he's, people are not joining. I used to tell people, you already told me, man, and I become a millionaire, I'm going to call you. And then people, whenever you're successful, I'll join. Well, don't tell me I didn't call you when I was broke. You're gonna, you're gonna see me in the next 12 months and you're gonna wish you joined today. I used to talk like that, but why? Because I was so laser focused. I cannot talk like that anymore because I'm already at that level. Do you see what I'm saying? Makes no sense. When people say impact 1 billion, oh, I'm inviting you to be one of them. Don't worry about it, it's done already. But why? Because I'm laser focused. You need to become laser focused also what you're speaking. It's gonna give you so much, so much security, so much confidence in yourself. So that's the other one. Uh, I want to say this. When you're laser focused, people get mixed up and they think you need to not sleep. <laughs> no, sleeping helps. Sleeping helps. Um, some people can sleep six hours and be ready, like myself. Like Elon Musk, like Jeff Bezos. They will sleep six hours. But some people need to sleep eight. Like Tony Robbins sleeps six also, I think. But some people need to sleep eight. Don't worry about it. You need to see whatever you need to sleep. I wouldn't recommend sleeping less than six. For periods of time, I had to sleep less than six. It's not fun because your level of awareness, your mindset gets tired during the day. That's what I personally experienced. I could be amazing for maybe a couple of hours or some hours, but not during the whole day, you know? So you need to sleep. So don't think that if you don't sleep, you're going to be better. You need to sleep those six to eight hours a day. Okay. Very simple. Um, I want to talk about laser focus when you are also dressing up yourself. I used to hear Dexter Yeager said that he wouldn't go to the streets if he wasn't feeling fresh. Well, that means he was always dressed to prospect. He was always dressed to impress, let's say, but not to impress the person. Oh my God, he's so rich. No, no, no. Oh my God, who's that person? Oh my God, that guy looks good. Oh my God, that guy has a personality. It's very simple. 
So I, I learned this 12 years ago. Always try to dress, to dress up just a little bit better, a little bit better, not too much better, a little bit better to whatever you're going to. Even if it's a supermarket. Even if it's a supermarket, you're not gonna go in a in a suit and a tie, right? But if you go dress semi-formally, for example, or dress in the new 2021 a little bit better, right? Than the, than the normal person, you're gonna be and when you're speaking your to a person, you're gonna if they ask, what does that person do? Just why why you're dressing the way you're dressing, it changes. It changes everything. Here in the in the new apartment that we just got, I know that people in Bali parking, there's like 12 workers. They're all asking that. I've been hearing a lot of rumors in the last five days. What does that guy do? Speaking about myself, there's a lot of rumors. What does that guy do for a living? But it's not only because of the hours that I get out, not only because of the cars that they see, <laughs> but it's also the way they see me dressed up. Because if I, maybe I would have come up down in pants, joggers, you know, every day, they wouldn't get interested. That's a fact. So the dressing part, you need to create a level of intention also. Why are you dressing the way you're dressing? So if I am walking to a room full of 20 year olds, I'm going to dress a little bit better, but like, a, but like, Jung for a young environment. If I'm gonna go to a room packed of 40, 50 year olds, I'm gonna dress a little bit different. I'm not being hypocrite with myself. I'm not. I would be hypocrite to my dreams if I wouldn't dress that way. Is that the way you say the word, Brandon? Hypocrite? Yeah, hypocrite. Yeah. Hypocrite. Some people say okay. hypocrite, but hypocrite, it's close enough. Hypocrite. <laughs> Hypocrite. So you need to, that's the way you need to be dressing. So there's a level of intention. And why that and why there's the intention? Because you're focused. If you weren't focused, you wouldn't care. And when you say the word I don't care, it means you don't care for your dreams. You shouldn't care for what people think of you, but you should care the way you think about your dream, because then you're being hypocrite. Makes no sense. Okay. The other one, um, definitely train your brain. So we're talking about training your brain. All of, all of, all, all 100% of what I'm speaking right now is basically training your brain. Did you think about the way you speak? What are you listening to? the people you're investing time with, not spending time with, the way you're dressing. It's, it's laser focus is the whole package. So I'm training yourself. I'm, I'm training myself every day to have the whole package. I, I, cannot, I, I cannot be laser focused if I don't train the whole package. I need to vibrate my dreams. I need to vibrate them. As soon as they see me, Dress, speaking, whatever. They smell me. Even if they smell me, they need to understand there's a purpose in it. I'm being honest. For example, now that I said music, I had one of my chairman 50s maybe like two weeks ago, just to give you an idea. There's an old Bad Bunny song. That's like maybe three-year-old. And the song reminded him of somebody else. But somebody that was attacking his dreams big time. And I told him, just change it. Just change the perception, change the focus. All you need to do, right? This is Bob Proctor right here, right? Or Napoleon Hill right here. Just change it. And I changed it. And he was like, damn. You know, you, even better. We had him and like four people of, of his team in the car. And he was like, shh. shh change the song, change the song. And I was like, why? That song reminds all of them to that leader. And I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. That means you cannot listen to a song, a cool song, because it reminds you of some pain. 
it's the other way around. Change the contacts. Let's go. And I changed the contacts. They were all fired up singing the song. Let, change your focus, change your life. Change your focus, change your life. That's all it is. But how did I change it so quickly in less than seconds? Because my level of awareness is so high. I trained my mind. I trained myself for so many years that it doesn't hit me. Chris Terry speaks too much about one time that they told me we were in a core meeting and they were like, oh, people are leaving. But I'm like, guys, who cares? One person leaves, let's bring eight. Who cares? It's more room, more people. Chris, I think he speaks about that every time he goes to stage when I'm in. And the only thing I did was said what I've been practicing for almost 13 years. That's me right now because I've done it so much, so many times. So that's another big one that I want to tell you guys. Um, <laughs> to be laser focused. Some people ask me, what do you drink, Yvonne, to be laser focused? Well, that's a lot of thinkings about what people can drink. <laughs> Some people drink coffee. I drink coffee. I love coffee with MCT oil. Oh, yeah. That doesn't mean that's what keeps me laser focused. I'm just giving you a little bit of everything. I, I just don't want to speak only about the belief factor or the leadership factor or the taking action factor. I want to bring you a little bit of everything, okay? Sure. What I do drink a lot of alkaline water, for example. What, why? Because I'm intentional about what I drink into my body. I'm, some, my mentor, Tony Robbins, doesn't like me drinking coffee. I drink coffee. I'm sorry. I always tell him I'm sorry, but I drink coffee. <laughs> but I drink alkaline water and a lot of alkaline water to try to subtract a little bit of the caffeine part about it. Um, but just to give you a little bit of idea, exercise, aerobics helps you so much. Helps you so much. When you're healthy, when you're eating habits are good, when you're doing exercise, believe me, one of the biggest mistakes I did in my first nine years of entrepreneurship was not taking care of my healthy habits and, and eating habits like I used to do when I used to play professional baseball. And I'm telling you guys that because if I would have taken care of those healthy habits, eating habits, exercise habits, I'd probably be bigger right now. And the reason is because I probably wouldn't get at the end of those nine years, for the first seven years, probably I didn't get tired. <laughs> but the last two, I was starting to get a little bit tired physically. But I changed my habits. I changed, I, I added some exercise. And now I'm feeling much better. I can be so much focused right now. So that's also very important. Okay. It's, it, uh, uh, you hear a lot about how can you make a lot of, making focus and laser focus on making a lot of money right now, you have to spend it in health later on in your life. It doesn't make any sense. You can do both on that end. That's why I admire again, uh, Brandon and Randy Webb. I mean, I'm not going to get as big as Randy. Oh my God. That guy is huge, but, but I, I'll, I'll get leaner for sure. <laughs> so, but going back to laser focus guys, what were my activities to be laser focused? Let's go into that. My activity seems to be in laser focus. And I'm talking about Yvonne Tapia. When I was working as civil engineer, if, if you're paying attention, I was going up to 20,000 a month. Because that's what it is. It's chairman mentality. Today's call is called chairman mentality. So that's 10,000 plus a month. Today's call is not called millionaire mentality, right? I mean, I can talk, or, or multimillionaire mentality. I can speak that later. Today's call is chairman mentality. So I'm speaking about 10,000 plus a month and how do I do it? And some of you guys, if you don't have a job and I am all you're doing hundred percent, you're receiving less excuses, to be honest. A a every time I speak to a person, they're telling me I'm hundred percent of the time. I'm like, man, you got less excuses. 
like you, you should be more focused than what I was back then. Uh, I mean, one of the reasons why I believed I was so focused because a lot of pain I got when I was working. I, I don't know, but I, I grabbed the pain of waking up at 3.30 a.m. I used to grab the pain of, of working 50 to 60 hours a, a, a week of the boss telling me you need to stay longer hours. I used to grab that pain of this sandwich, the unflavored sandwich I used to eat from 12 to one. I'm being honest. <laughs> I used to, I, because I used to grab that sandwich and just put it in my mouth like I need to make some calls. Because I used to say, I want to have that next next life. So you know what I also create, create, created me pain? I remember my former mentors, they used to give me no time. And when I mean no time, it is no time. I used to call them up and they used to ignore me. I would ask for a call. They used to ignore me big time. And they were in Chairman Elise, they were in Chairman 750s, you know, ranks. They were maybe Chairman 100 ranks. Chairman 250s at the most. And they used to ignore me back then. I was, I was, I knew I was making less than a thousand, maybe a thousand some, sometimes, but they used to not talk to me. That created pain also. I remember I went to a leadership retreat. That one I was making like 5,000 a month. I still had a job, I was still in here. And I got to, this, to the leadership retreat. And I said, there's only 200 people in this room. Oh, they're going to give me some time. At least five to ten minutes, you know. But you know, there's, for example, Chairman Twenty Five Tables and above, and they didn't do chairs for P Five Thousands with the Chairman Twenty Five. So I would come in like, "Hey, man, can I have a quick question?" Oh, later, 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 later. Never came. <laughs> that created pain in me because I said I knew. They're not putting any attention to me because maybe I'm not producing enough. I haven't attracted the, the, the value for them to look at me. But instead of me being, you know, derailed or like, man, this is not for me or this, this company is not for me or this leader is not for me, I used to get the pain and say, okay, I'm going to win your time. So that helped me even focus even more. I want you guys to understand that helped me even focused even way more. I, I remember, I even remember there was times when I used to go to events and when I got, for example, the same ranks as P1, P2, P5, they used to give ranks, pins, uh, little ceremony things on the other company. I used to go to the events and for some reason, Either the events that I went, they didn't give it, or the events I was going to, they forgot mine. And instead of creating the pain of like, oh, they don't love me, I used to create the more focus of, is there's a reason why they're not giving me this one? It's because I'm going to receive the biggest one. Just to give you guys a little bit of context, I remember. They used to give rings for 100,000 earners, a million dollar earners, 250, half a million, et cetera, et cetera. I remember I, I earned the 100,000 ring. They forgot my ring. Everybody on the stage, they didn't even mention my name. And I was like, maybe they didn't make it. And I went after the whole ceremony to the amen, to the assistant. It was a woman. Hey, yeah. what happened? My name? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, made a mistake there. And I'm like, man, P1000 mistake, P2000 mistake, P5000 mistake, ring mistake. You know what? I'm very sure they're not going to make a million mistakes. I'm very sure if somebody goes to a million, they're not going to make a mistake on them. Because I'm very sure they're going to take care of that million. Millionaire guy. Next year, 
million rent. Million rent. So instead of the pain or hurting, derailing me, or going through the to the next chapter, saying this is not for me, it kind of dro drove me. I embraced the pain. I it fueled me, you know, like, and 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 I know this different industries, sport Michael Jordan, but I kind of said, if he went through the Pistons, maybe this is my Pistons, you know? That's kind of like how I used to picture it. And, and like in sports, maybe because I used to play baseball, right? But that's how I used to think about it. You know, if, if he went through the Pistons, this is my Pistons right here. If he went through all those pains, this is my pains right here. And that is how I used to think about it. And that helped me again, become so laser focused because now I got off the event and guess what I was thinking of? Million dollar ring, million dollar ring. So every time I go on an event, they didn't give me a, a, a pin, next pin, next pin, next pin. Got to an event, didn't get the pin, next pin. And, 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 and the reality is, is I didn't do it too much about the pen. It was more about the 20,000 a month. And then when I got to 20, about the million dollar ring, right? So a million a year. But it was about how to create pain. I understood that I needed to learn how to create pain to feel me. Or same, and, and it was kind of similar how Mike Jordan did or some other big time players did it, right? Or this guy, if you look at the last dance, Michael used to create stories in his mind to fuel him to get more energized to, to kill him on the next time they went to court and they played together. So it's kind of similar, but different <laughs> because I couldn't get somebody on the court against me, right? But it was how I fueled me. It's, it's laser focus. I, I have just a small difference right there on sports and, and then we're marketing and what we're doing. Physical attributes die. Father, father time comes around in sports, not in network marketing. <laughs> you know, and you keep practicing the mind. Doesn't matter if you're 30, doesn't matter if you're 25, doesn't matter if you're 45, doesn't matter if you're 50. You can always become better if you really want it. If you really, really, really focus. So I'm telling you right now. Also to keep laser focus, instead of pain derailing you, it feels you, it gives you gasoline. That is so, 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 so important. How do you know if you're really prioritizing? Remember, where you focus on expands, change your focus, change your life. So if that is true, where you focus on expands, look at the hours per day. There's 24 hours per day. This is the way you can do it. Very simple. If you're sleeping six hours per day, I, I used to sleep six, right? You got 18. If you take 30 minutes to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I'm doing three meals. Maybe you do five. I don't know if Brandon does five. How many, how many meals do you do, Brandon? Um, I definitely do three main meals, and then I have little stuff between the meals so that I'm not getting hungry. So you do like the five. So you do yeah. the three big in the two small. Yeah. Yep. So, so basically the five. So, so what happens if you do three or the five, that's an hour and a half to two hours kind of eating. Right. And if you're, and if you're a person that has a family and enjoys time with the family, maybe it's another hour or two there. You do a little bit community with the car or et cetera. Maybe it's another hour or so. Right. It could be more depending on the person. So you're talking about four hours. So that means to be honest, that's around 14 hours. So you got 14 hours approximately to work in this business. Ivan, but I got an eight hour job. All right. So that brings you down to six hours. You got six hours. You got six hours to work this business. You have excuses or you have results. You can't have both. So those six hours, for example, that I'm talking about, you need to be so laser focused. And remember, it doesn't have to be for the rest of your life because six times seven 
it is 42 hours a week. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't have to be like that. Now, that's what I used to do. Now, I don't have a job, so I do it a lot of hours per week because I love it. I'm passionate of what I do. Okay, I'm laser focused on impact 1 billion today. So anything that attracts me and helps me going to 1 billion, I'm going to do it. But that's what's, that's what's happening. So everything, thinking about it, like, like even just to give you an idea about the eating habit, I was speaking last Saturday to a friend of mine. What are we today? Monday, so it was Saturday to a friend of mine. And I was asking him about the, his eating habits, right? He's, he's a very healthy guy. And you know the reason why I was asking? Because I was so intentional about it. And, and it is not because I don't know this information, but it helps me. Like the same way you're, you, you, you become what you think about. What I was listening, I'm investing on this conversation right here, right now. Because I know if I get more healthier, I'm going to help people become more healthier because I have a big influence on people today. It's a fact. So if I start eating a lot of fudge cake, just to give you an idea, a lot of fudge cake, and I start posting it on social media, what are people going to start doing? Eating fudge cake. It's very simple. But if I start eating more healthier and start getting better, I'm going to help people get more healthier and better. Not only because of them, it's because of me, principle. Number one is me on that end, on that sense, and my family know what I'm talking about. But the a vision impact one billion? This is so important right here. So even if what I'm meeting, I'm being intentional about my purpose in life. That's what you guys understand. So what I'm meeting, what I'm speaking, what I'm spending time on, what am I investing, what am I promoting, what am I talking about, what am I working out on, what am I sleeping on, everything. All the movies that I watch, I love them when they're documentaries or based on true life stories. And, I, and if there's none of them, because I'm looking at my, uh, my maybe my daughter's movies that they want to see, I want to take a message out that I have an intention and purpose on that I can take action on. Always, 100%. And having fun, of, of course. But that's what I'm talking about. Because I embrace your focus. I have one vision, and it's called Impact One Billion. And in, in, in order to become Impact One Billion, we need 1,000 chairmen in IAM. That's all we need. And that's what we're doing. Every action, any opportunity I have to talk about IAM Master Academy, trading, crypto, forex, e-commerce, IAM Master Academy is the best vehicle. And that's the fact. And that's what I'm speaking on. And I'm laser focused on that. So hope you guys understand. Hope you guys learned a lot today. Um, on this talk on chairman mentality, laser focus, uh, try to grab a lot of subjects there for you. And uh, hopefully you guys got a lot of value, content. Very happy to be here with you, Brandon. And hopefully this goal will help you out, all of you. Thank you very much. Let's go and take action. 2021, is, we're 35 plus days away from finishing off. Prove yourself that you can be laser focused for the, for the next 37 to 38 days or 40 days, whatever stress. What are we right now? I don't even know. See, that's the thing, uh, Yvonne, when you're on the road to success, you don't know what day it is and it doesn't matter. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah. it, it, here's TGIF, a fact. TGIF every day. Here's a fact. When, when, I, when I schedule, when, when, in 2022, I'm scheduling again, again like this because this, this is still this part of COVID still a little bit like, like but next year I'm already scheduling it doesn't matter what day of the month it is. That, that's the way I work. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Hey, 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 it's Wednesday. Who cares? Is it, is it what? 22nd? Oh, I'll be there. Yeah. You know? Oh, it's it's, it's uh, Friday. Oh, oh, who cares? It's Friday. What day is it? The first. Okay, I'll be there. The first, I'm open. I'm open the third. I'm open the fifth. I'm open the tenth. Let's go and take action. That's the way I normally do it. Okay? So that's doesn't matter. If it's December 24th, December 31st. But Super Bowl, who cares? Not everybody watches the Super Bowl. That's a, that's a fact. It, just to give you an idea how laser focus, Brandon, and, and we can wrap it up with this Thanksgiving. I'm from Mexico. So Thanksgiving, 
I love that. That's probably my the one I love the most is Thanksgiving, probably. But I'm from Mexico, so people from Mexico don't celebrate Thanksgiving. That's the culture. We don't even know it exists Thanksgiving until you move to the U.S. Okay, because you get you give thanks because of what happened in the U.S. So you know what I used to do in Thanksgiving? I used to do tours in all Latin America. Because of Thanksgiving. And then in Mexico, in Mexico, there's other dates that they don't celebrate in the U.S., for example. Do you know which countries I used to work when those days were in Mexico going on? The U.S. and Japan. There's a big one. It's called March uh, or April Spring Break. Spring Break gets celebrated in Mexico and in the U.S. You know which countries I used to go to travel to expand my business? Japan, Vietnam, Thailand. They don't celebrate Spring Break back then. So why? Because I was so laser focused. Ivan, 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 you don't take vacations? Vacations? You, the only reason why you need to take vacations is because you need to escape what you're doing. But when you're love and you're passionate about what you're doing, because you're, you're not only laser focused, but you're, 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 you're passionate and you're loving what you're doing, you don't need to escape it. You need to be in it more. There's a difference. You don't need to be in time with your family. I take my family with me. There's a difference. Oh, Yvonne, but it's because you're at that level that you can take your family. No, it is because when I didn't have nothing, I used to bring my family with me. There's a difference. All right. So that's it. <laughs> I, I love this, guys. Here's, here's a few notes that I, I was taking notes as Yvonne was talking. And I did place the notes in the uh, chat, and I'll put them on the recording in the description. He said that you need to know what is the end result. And I tell people that all the time. If we're focused on all the work and not the end result, you'll probably burn out and quit. So you want to focus on the end result of what you're looking for. He said that he was focused on listening to personal development, listening to the audios, because sometimes for some people, it's easier for them to listen to the audios than maybe sit down and read a book. Uh, I did the same thing. He said, I'm going to give it my all. The question is, are we giving it our all? Or are we kind of treating it a little bit like a hobby? Because then we make the hobby income, not the all income. You see what I'm saying? He says he was obsessed. If you want to be successful, it's like think and grow rich said, you've got to be obsessed. You've got to be obsessed with becoming the next version of yourself, getting better than you are right now. He said he created pains in his mind if he did not do it, similar to Michael Jordan behind me, right? He said, prioritize the activities that you will do. Not that you should do. He said that you will do. He also said that we need to get better at speaking. If we want to have more influence, we've got to be better at speaking. We've got to follow those people who have great influence, are very good speakers. Yvonne is one of them. Focused on having a mission. Why? Because he said it creates traction. He said you need uh, a good six to eight hours of sleep. I used to think, uh, you know, because some people say team no sleep and all this stuff. You're going to have a stroke and heart attack. You're going to die early. <laughs> you're not going to enjoy your life. To me today, my quality of sleep is the most important thing. It affects every area of my life. It affects how I treat my wife, how I treat my kids, it affects my workouts, it affects my ability to be good on here, to think correctly. So guys, don't do this team no sleep stuff. You will not enjoy your life and you will die an early death and you would have done this for no reason, okay? He also said you must train your entire package. That means all of you. Um, I think it was Jim Rohn who said, I'm going for whole life success, not financial success. He said whole life success, the health, the mind, right? The business, the relationships. It says uh, in the good book, no amount of success will compensate for failure in the home. What profits a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? What profits you to become chairman and get divorced? What profits you to go chairman and your kids hate you? You see what I'm saying? So this is for a season of your life. For a season of your life, you do what Yvonne did and you can get to that level, any level, because the only thing that will hold you back is the mindset that you can't do it. Guys, if you appreciate what Yvonne has given to you today, please put a 222 inside the chat. Let's blow it up. Whether you guys right now are on the Facebook Live, Instagram Live, please go ahead and blow up that chat. 
show the appreciation to chairman. He's not just a chairman elite. This guy is impacting people. Although that's why I hate to just say chairman elite. Well, chairman elite inside the company, but his impact is global. So his call today will be posted right here. There is a chairman Mentetti call playlist. I will give each of you the recording. In that recording, not only will you get the video, you will get the notes in the description as well. Yvonne, I want to say thank you. Uh, you. You definitely were focused. You gave your heart to this call. You did not allow the distractions of all the text messages on your phone, be blowing up your phone to be on. You were focused. And that goes along with what Michael Jordan said. He said that we need a laser light, the laser beam, not a flashlight. A flashlight is like wide, right? It's, it's that laser focus and consistency that will help get us to the goals and the dreams that we have. Yvonne got to where he's at today because he found something. He lasered in long enough to be successful. I remember Zig Ziglar said, you harness the power of the sun through the magnifying glass. He said, you do not move it back and forth. You laser that you keep it steady. He said, you will start a fire. But if you move it back and forth, you will not start a fire. He who tries to catch two rabbits won't catch any. You've got to take that focus. And Yvonne has given us a fantastic training today. Guys, this is the Chairman Mentality Call. Please review this again. Share it with your team. But don't just take the knowledge. Don't say, man, that was an amazing call. I'm fired up. No. Take the knowledge that you gain here today and the reminders and say, what am I going to take action on today? And that's when your life will create the results you're looking for. Guys. Have a great Monday. Let's crush it. Thanks, Yvonne. Have a good day, everyone. We'll talk to you soon.